The second statement, Mr. Speaker, is one relative to the independence celebrations. Mr. Speaker, at this point in time, we are celebrating our 36th anniversary of independence. As of last year, I have had the fortunes of chairing the National Independence Celebrations Committee. We have planned a number of activities to commemorate this, the 36th anniversary. But before I go into some of the activities, one of the first things which we did was to have a theme competition. Coming out of the entries which were submitted, it was decided that the winning theme is Unify, Transform, Enrich, Uplifting Communities for Independence 36. The person who submitted that particular theme is a Mr. Travis Bell. The calendar of events reflect quite a number of activities, some which are planned by the government itself and others by quite a number of other organizations. I will not go into all of the activities which we have on the calendar, but I will speak to some of the more important ones. Uh, let me say some of the more traditional ones, which we normally would see each year, and of course some of the others. I should also note, Mr. Speaker, that this year it was a little challenging in terms of the slating of the activities on the calendar, because CPL, which is traditionally held in August, is being held in September, actually starting next week, Tuesday the 10th. And we have five games right up until the 17th of September. The first item that we have on the calendar, Mr. Speaker, is actually the opening of the Newtown Fest that would have taken place on the 28th of well, it's actually, the, the first item is a beautification project, and that would have been planned by the Newtown Community Festival. And I suppose that for some persons, having community festivals isn't important based on some utterances uh, that I am hearing. Opposite. Opposite. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. This coming Friday, we have the Independence Fair Stand that takes place at 7 p.m. at the Circus. On uh, September 8th, Sunday, September 8th, traditionally, you have the Sanitation Workers Service, which takes place at the Apostolic Faith Church on St. Johnson Avenue. That will take place this coming Sunday. There's also a 10 miles road relay and uh, that convenes in Tabernacle and Climaxes at Warner Park. It is 3 p.m. this coming Sunday. In Nevis, there is a Thanksgiving service in recognition of national heroes of Nevis and members of the congregation, and I suppose the congregation of the Common Methodist Church where that particular service is being held. On a Sunday, of this week, we saw the opening of the Netball Community League. There is a game this coming Sunday, and that game is being held in St. Paul's. And you have a number of games, such as on Monday of next week, for the very same St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association Community League. We have the ministers visiting schools as of Tuesday of next week. And with the number of schools, we expect that that will continue into Wednesday. The prime minister's lecture series will take place next week, Thursday, on the 12th. I said earlier that CPL has uh, basically forced us to make some changes traditionally the lecture series is held on the Wednesday evening. 
Okay, so I want to make it known to the public that the lecture series this year will be next week, Thursday, at the ECCB Auditorium. On the Saturday the 14th, we have a number of activities. We have, Carib we have Caribbean Wellness Day Walk in collaboration with SKN Moves. That's at 5 a.m. I think the walk starts at the, the cenotaph. That's at 5 a.m. Saturday the 14th. You have the Nyam Local Food Fair, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Bethesda Moravian Church in Kayan. The second annual Flowers of Food and Flag event is at 11.30 a.m. and that is at 17 degrees. In Nevis, you have the Shaknaya Dance Theater, 12th and Shakaina, the Dance Theater, 12th Annual Dance Production. And that is taking place at 7 p.m., as I said, on Saturday the 14th at Nipak. You also have cricket taking place at Warner Park at 8 p.m. on the 14th. The 15th, Mr. Speaker, the State Service will be held this year in Nevis at the Methodist Church, Charlestown Methodist Church, and that service begins at 4 p.m. You also have a CPL taking place at 6 p.m. at Warner Park, and you have the Nevis National Heroes Concert at 9 p.m. at the Nevis Cultural Village. The 16th National Heroes Day, and so, as we have done traditionally, you have the National Heroes Day observance, and that is at 8 a.m. at Heroes Park. Your Reach for Recovery is also having the Breast Cancer Survivors Party Bus Cruise, starting from 1 p.m. at Fort Zante, and Newtown also has its Jove. On the 17th, it's National Fruit and Vegetable Day. Wednesday, the 18th, you have National Wear, so we're encouraging all persons to wear their national colors on that day. You have the school's patriotic program and treat. You have the Pam Independence Ball at 7 p.m. at Marriott. And we have the concert here in St. Kitts starting at 9 p.m. The venue for the concert this year is the Connery Football Field. Thursday the 19th, Independence Day, we have the Independence Day Parade at 8 a.m. And as usual, it takes place at the Warner Park Cricket mm -hmm. Stadium. You have the Toast to the Nation following that at Camp Springfield. You have the Nevis Independence Ceremonial Parade and Award Ceremony. That's at 8 a.m. at the Elkomeda El T. Willard Park. And of course, Nevis also has a toast to the nation, and that is at 9 a.m. The Prime Minister is also expected to make a short visit to the maternity ward mm -hmm. to basically see if we had any independence babies. The St. Kitts Netball Community League also has a game that evening. The normal cocktail reception will also be held at Government House, and in Nevis, the deputy Governor General Independence mm -hmm. Reception, 7 p.m., and that also is at Government House in Nevis. Mr. Speaker, I think those are the activities that persons normally would look forward to. But as the Minister of Education, I think I must point out some of the activities which are also held by the Ministry of Education. We have on the 23rd of September the school's beautification judging. On the 25th, Thursday, you have the primary school's elocution contest eliminations. On the 27th, the senior drills competition that's normally held at the Bay Road, and that is at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. On the 3rd of October, we have the primary school's elocution contest final. We have Night of Instrumental Music on the 26th of October. And on the 27th of October, we have Night of Dance. The other activities that we have 
on the calendar, not spelled out day by day, Mr. Speaker, but you have Youth Month being celebrated in November and also Tourism Month. As time goes by, I suspect that both the Youth Department and the Ministry of Tourism would put out the calendar of activities. I think I forgot two things, Mr. Speaker. On the 22nd, there is a gospel concert at Greenlands Park. At the Frigate Bellon, okay, the venue has been changed to Frigate Bellon. So that's on the 22nd of September, there is a gospel concert. And we're expecting to have a gospel singer from overseas. And on the 16th of September, we have the normal community fund days. The theme this year, as you recognize, is one which speaks to communities. And so for the community funders, we are hoping that they would have a different flair this year. We're encouraging the communities to actually have funders which would involve persons from the communities. So whether it is dominoes, football, netball, whatever it is, activities that would bring persons from the communities together rather than the traditional you come you have a drink you get something to eat and you go back home we are discouraging persons from doing it that way this year as you can see mr speaker the calendar is quite extensive the calendar has on activities uh, which cater to persons of different age groups persons of different beliefs etc and as such, we are of the view uh, that there is something on the calendar for everyone. Before I take my seat, I want to say a very special thanks to the members of the committee who continue to work hard to ensure uh, that indeed the activities are successful. So I therefore say thanks to all of the persons and also to the different other organizations which would put on activities around this time of the year. May it please you, Mr. Speaker.